Hola! What's going on, everybody? Today is going to be a good day. You know why? Because I've been reading all day. As you can see, reading all day. Let's get straight into it. No filler. So everyone wants to scale and grow their business, but they're not sure how when they're in the beginning stages a lot of the times. They want to outsource. They want to hire people, but they're not sure how to do it. All right, so I'm going to give you some ways of scaling your business, building your brand, and this is going to be specifically for B2B based companies. But if you're not in the B2B space, which stands for business to business, then you could actually take some of this information that I'm going to be providing to you guys and apply it to you accordingly. Okay, so I did an article on LinkedIn, which you guys can go and um, connect with me on LinkedIn. If you just type in Jeremiah Vegan, I should pop up, connect with me, or you can look in the description below if you're watching this on YouTube, click on that link and it will forward you to this article that I haven't published yet, but by the time I release this video, it will be published and this video will be posted in the article section. So I spent about a week doing this because um, I'm very busy. And I spent about a week writing this article on five ways you can scale your business online. And I'm just going to breathe, read over some of the things that I covered to kind of um, pinpoint what is important for you to take out of this video. You guys can read this on your own time. All right. So one of the easiest ways to stay in business is to consistently generate leads and build your brand. Build your brand and make money. That's the best way, the easiest way to uh, to kind of scale and and, and 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 generate leads consistently. I know that's cliche to say. I know that's like that's not rocket science. But a lot of people don't understand the idea of being able to scale your business. All right, as I said right here. A common mistake that many business owners make, especially if you are a beginner, is not creating a machine and scaling your business. You must create a system for different things in order to grow. Many entrepreneurs try to do everything themselves because they feel they do not have the budget or resources to scale and build brand awareness. What often happens is that they get discouraged or content meaning stagnant where they are at and they don't seek to grow anymore and they decide to do something else and that's why most businesses fail but having a team or staff on board with you to help you bring brand awareness and help you to help you generate leads is very vital and one way of doing this is to get really good at automating lead generation and finding the right people to delegate tasks to that's very important so I'm gonna go over some of the the five steps that you can actually to, to kind of apply or to kind of seek as a um, like a map or like an outline to kind of get you going in the right direction the first thing that you're doing is when you want to build a brand whether that's a personal brand or a business brand or something like that or a, a company is you want to figure out what your budget is I know that's might not the not might not be the sexiest answer, but it's very true. You have to understand how w w what you're up against, all right? What your goals are going to be, and it, it makes it so much easier for you to go about your um, your plan, all right? Because you have to have a plan in place and make sure you execute and be practical on how you're going to get the results that you're looking for, all right? So I would say step one is figuring out your budget. Find out how much you have to spare each month. You should do this before you start hiring people and paying for business tools, softwares, and stuff like that to run your business. I bought a whiteboard for myself personally from Amazon for about $30 to place on my wall. And I write my budget and list things I need to run my business on my whiteboard. So as you can see right here, this is my whiteboard. This is simple hat. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear me, but I'm going to try. So, right here is a list of the people that I'm going to be hiring to get in the roles. 
that I want them to be in, okay? So, some people I've already hired, some people I haven't hired yet. And this is like a map. This is like the funnel of the processes, of the steps that need to happen in order for my business to stay consistent and running, okay? So this is the overall map of what I want to do. This is some of the personal tasks that I have right here. I got this off Amazon for like $30. I got this off of, um, I got this from Dollar Tree, the dollar store for $1. I'm just put this right my personal task that I want to do to stay on track. I put it right there. And then that's my big one. So that is just a simple hack that I use personally to get everything going. That it that is I think I find it better for me to do it offline than online. Just electronics, having reminders and stuff like that is hasn't been working for me, but it could work for you. All right, so the next thing that you want to do is, is step two, which is hire a marketer. The first thing that you should do when you want to scale is hire an agency or someone that can generate leads or money for you in a short period of time. Now, I'm not saying this as a get rich quick type of scheme, okay? I'm saying that someone that could practically do things for you to generate leads for you to generate more business so hire an agency to do your cold calling your 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 code emails uh um something for you even ads you know generate do ads or something like that if you have the budget for it linkedin lead generation which is some things that we do a lot of the services that i'm going to be talking about that you can actually apply to your business you can hire your rep for or you can hire someone that you like to do this for you okay now let me continue once you close on some of those leads from the marketing you receive invest in more marketing and hire a trainer for your staff a trainer should be able to close deal as well and trade people you hire on so you let them know when you're hiring them on a site like upwork which is a freelancer based site you must hire someone that has experience with sales generating leads you decide where they're going to generate leads at how you know whether it's cold calling whether it's through uh, uh, LinkedIn lead generation you decide and then you let them know ahead of time like hey we're looking for a sales um, a person that could potentially be a sales trader but they're going to be generating leads for you initially initially and then what happens is you hire or well, as you guys get sales I want to say between two to three sales you can um, hire someone on your team under them to actually um, delegate for them to delegate tasks to and stuff like that and train them on the process that you guys already figured out and there's different tools that you can use to manage your team like slack like Monday things like that that can help you manage your team and I should put all of those that those things should be um, um, in the description below if you're watching this on YouTube as well all right so um, if you don't have the budget to hire a sales trainer right off the bat like let's say salary or monthly or even hourly what you can do is every time you have some money you could um, you could basically do what a lot of people don't talk about is that you can hire someone to do specific tasks okay meaning they you assign them a project and once they're finished with that project you can continue to pay them or whenever you have the funds you you you'll pay for it again let me give you an example and this is only an example let's say you want somebody to do cold calling for you you can go to a site like Fiverr and make that happen okay if you guys aren't familiar with Fiverr you're probably under a rock <laughs> but it's okay I'm gonna break it down to you okay so right here it says right here you can hire someone to make a hundred and two two hundred calls um, uh, and set up appointments for you okay if you let's say you only got a hundred dollars to spare you can go to Fiverr it's a lot of typos in here but you can go to Fiverr Fiverr is a freelance website that allows you to hire freelancers to do services for your business they refer to these services on the site as gigs so you find a gig that works for you and reach out to that freelancer if you don't find any freelancers within your budget 
on Fiverr, what you can do is custom a gig, custom um customize a gig where you can basically um say a, the, the job description of what you want done and let them know what your budget is and if they're interested they'll uh, apply and you can hire someone to do cold calling but you can hire other things too um i just say cold calling because that's in, inexpensive it's nothing for you to hire someone to do cold calling all you got to pretty much do is maybe pay for the dialing software or something like that or um yeah or just have them call them a lot of the times just have them call them however you want to set it up and it's inexpensive so cold calling telemarketing code emailing where somebody can send emails on your behalf um, email marketing campaigns and you can have somebody cold call and forward them to a funnel if you guys are familiar with funnels you know to get them to convert and generate leads and do an email marketing campaign you can have a virtual assistant respond to, to different jobs on Craigslist depending on the type of business that you provide and then you can do what we do is LinkedIn lead generation so you can hire those people on sites like Fiverr to do certain tasks and they have a lot of times the, the list of services that they're willing to do within that gig for a specific amount so they say for a hundred dollars I'll be able to do this this and this right so that is something that you can definitely look into alright so I also recommend that you guys look up this guy named Alex Berman. He's one of my favorite business YouTubers. He has this, um, this he's a, considered like a cold, uh, a serial entrepreneur, and he's really big on cold emailing. That's how he generates a lot of his business. And I'll have the link to this video um, below. Actually, no, I won't. I, I'll, I'll have the link uh, to his channel below. All right. If you want to watch this video, you can watch it on the article that I posted here on the um, on the LinkedIn article I did, and this link will be in the description below. Okay, so um, you can watch him, and he actually goes over how to scale your business. So he said I'll get a lot of information from him, and I have my own interpretation of it. Um, but he has a lot of good content, so go ahead and check him out. So. Um, the next thing that you want to do is maybe get a CRM. All right, CRM. If you're not familiar with that, is a customer relationship management. Stands for customer relationship management. CRM is essentially like a process. Now you can get CRM tools, which I recommend. And the CRM tool that we use is this uh, site called Nutshell. Okay. Um, I don't know if I should go over it real quick for you, but Nutshell is essentially a software that allows you to track your leads, generate, um, send emails on your on your behalf. You can set tasks. Um, you can you know you can add members to your team to do these things for you. And uh, it's just a really really useful uh, software that um, I recommend. Okay, anyone that has a business that's functioning and that's somewhat efficient uses some type of CRM software or tool or system most of the time okay and this can be from uh this can be from government government related companies like the irs uh bill collectors billing departments phone companies they all have this crm based they all have a crm tool where they track their customers um they're able to send emails that's why a lot of these banking companies are able to send you why do you think how do you think banks are able to send you uh letters in the mail they're not typing that they're not like looking at, at you personally and typing it they have something pre-written they have you in the system whether you paid or whether they want to advertise you or whether you're missing a payment and they're trying to collect um that or or send reminders they have you in their system they have you essentially in their crm and that's how you track leads and, and how you run your business okay and what you can do with a lot of CRM software is like nutshell what I just went over you can add users okay so when you hire someone you train them within your process right and you hire them on and they can they, they can take notes let's say they make a phone call or something like that they take notes on the account so whenever somebody comes behind them either you or someone on their team 
they'll come by and they'll see and they'll have it in their notes. A lot of bill collectors use a CRM tool where they take notes on each um, um, borrower or debtor that they have. Um, they, they keep track of everything, okay? So CRMs are very, very beneficial and um, they're not, they can, they're can. different prices depending on where you go, okay? So just look up some CRM tools. Maybe in another video if you guys are interested in that, I'll cover that. All right, step four is get a calendar. This is pretty important. If you are in the B2B niche, right, business to business niche, and you speak to clients, what you want to do is you want to have a calendar for them to book you on. You just send them the link, and they will be able to see your availability, and they would, base the time that they select, based on when they have free time and when you have free time. It's very beneficial. And if you use a site, uh, a calendar platform that I use called You Can Book Me, it'll ask you questions when before somebody even book you, okay? They'll ask you questions so you can even further qualify them, like why do you want to have the session, what do you plan on the discussing within this, um, within this call, within this meeting, and it's just a great way um, for you to run your business and what you can do is you can on you can book me it allows you to assign users but it, you have to upgrade but it allows you to assign users to use this so as your 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 business grows you can add people to it to where they can run it for you to where you can actually do other things um, and you can kind of automate the process all right because that's what we're trying to get you to do is automate the process to where you won't have to do all of these little tedious tasks. Even though it may not seem like a lot, it could save you a lot of time. Okay. Um, keep in mind when you use You Can Book Me, if you're in the States like I am, they are based out of the UK. So sometimes when you use your debit card, um, you may have to call your debit card company and find out why it was declined, if it declines it, and you have the funds available because it's only $10 a month. Um, sometimes a lot of banks will decline certain services or decline the, um, um, decline your card if it's out of the country, okay? Because they don't want it. They don't want to, um, a lot of times they might suspect it being a fraudulent charge. So you will have to probably call in to your bank and authorize that payment. That's kind of what they suggested that I did when I was having issues. So just keep that in mind as well. If you use, you can book me. Calendly is another software that's really popular uh, that people use and um, they're really cheap. Okay. So use a calendar to book those things. And like I said right here, the more meetings you have on your calendar from your leads, the more you could potentially make. And you eventually would need to hire a sales manager or assistant of some sort to assign these leads to your team if you want to scale up. Which leads me to step five. Pay for your business expenses for the year or months in ahead if you can. Okay. Let me give you an example. If you have the calendar link, I know I'm going to be using the calendar. I'm going to be using that to book meetings. So what I would want to do is pay for that in the years uh, in it for the year it's only ten dollars a month so it might be 110 bucks or something like that um and if i can't do that at the time i may pay two months two or three months in ahead the reason why you want to pay for some of the your business expenses ahead is because times get hard it's not easy to run a business and let's say money is short right let's say money is short you're not generating enough revenue for your business you won't have to worry about it for um, a certain period of time because you've already paid ahead and you know you're going to be using this to, to, to run your business to keep your business up and running you this is something that you always going to use so pay ahead there's a lot of things that a lot of things that people don't really consider I know for a fact that um, there's a lot of business bills that I have to run my business and even though they may be ten to twelve dollars a month they're very essential and they add up so um, make sure that you pay ahead, especially if you have a website, right? Pay for your web hosting for the year if you can. Pay everything a, a year in ahead. I know for like web hosting companies like HostGator, you can pay like $12 a month. GoDaddy, you can do the same thing after you pay for the web hosting and it runs out or something like that. Try to pay for it a year in ahead. 
all right that's pretty important as well and if you guys are interested in having your own marketing team and your need you your need is somebody generating leads for you what you can do is you can head over to jeremiahvegan.com and you can fill out a, um, a form you can fill out the registration form and then um, click on um, you can click on one of these options here it's going to forward you to a form fill out that form and if we feel like you qualify somebody will get back to you as soon as possible okay all right i'll talk to you guys in the next video hopefully this added a lot of value to your life and i will talk to you guys soon thank you for watching